Welcome back to the Spirited Shop. I am the Spirited Maker and today we are going to make a portable screw storage. One that will allow me to sort my screws and hang it on the wall using a French cleat. And it will also allow me to just lift it up and take it to the job site. So that is on task for today. I have some reclaimed lumber from an old bookshelf that I'm going to use. It's just two by or one by material really like one by six and I think we can make a good little storage bin that can just sit on the wall and when I need it grab it and go so that's the plan for today thank you for watching let's get to it so the plan is to make a slot for each different size of screw that I want. I want one inch, one and a quarter, one and five eight, two inch, two and a half, three. I'm gonna do three and a half and four inch as well. So I'm gonna need eight dividers on this piece of wood for the screws to sit in, rest in. So I will measure the board and we'll divide it out, see how much room each size screw gets. So that's the plan. Let me uh, do the wonderful, wonderful math now. All right, after doing some math, I've laid out on this board two possibilities. If I want all eight in divisions I will only have two inches between the slats for screws so I think I'm going to drop the smallest and the largest size because those are rarely used and by doing that it gives me three inches between them and that'll be a lot more room to be able to grab in there and get the screws out so we're gonna have six spaces instead of eight so now I'm going to work on the sides and the slats that go in between them. So time to do some laying out and cutting. So I forgot to film it, but I cut 45s in this one piece of the lumber. And I'm going to rip it now in half, and that's going to be the French cleat. One will be on the storage, one will be on the wall, and I'll show you how that goes eventually. So let's rip it in half. It's a six inch board, it means it's really five and a half, so two and a quarter. Should be about middle. It doesn't have to be perfect on this. So here we go. I don't like this push stick as much as the other one, which I don't know where I placed at the moment. Oh well. So, on to the next step. Alright, I'm going to rip the front face. Found my favorite push stick.
piece will be across the front and that's going to be kind of the profile shorter on the front so they're going to slope down now the sides and the slats and then we put on the French cleat. See, they will uh, interlock like that, just resting. So let me cut out some sides and then the inner slats, and we'll start putting it together. All right, so now I'm going to cut the sides out of these two boards. I have the first one marked. For the second is use the first one I cut. Uh, match it. I find that way you get a whole lot tighter, closer pieces. So that's the two sides. All the rest are going to be internal. Actually, I got to cut the angle on the side, so let me see if I can calculate that. Well, let's do it once we get the internal slats cut out, because it'll be the same angle for all of them. Okay, it's going to be the same deal. I'm going to measure the first one. I'm going to cut it out, and then I'm going to use that as a template for the rest. I need five of them at 115 millimeters. And yes, I'm measuring metric because a lot of the CAD and CAM work I do is all in metric, so you get used to it after a while. Line it up, touch it off. Ooh. Try that again without stuff in the way. slats cut now we have an angle to cut into them here let me okay so here's the back here's the front and here's one of the slats that go in between so now I need to cut from the corner here to this corner so I need to figure out that angle set up my sliding compound miter saw here to that angle and repeat that same cut on all the slats and the end pieces so let me uh, do some more measuring figure it out fun fun so Turns out, hold on. So it turns out to be 17.3 degrees. Fun, fun. Nice, even numbers. So I'm going to do a quick cut on one test piece and just see how close it matches. Like that's correct to me. Hmm. Should we just trial and error till we get it right? 
needs to be slightly steeper. So let's go 20 degrees. Getting there. Got 22 and a half. Since there's a mark for it. I'd say that's close enough. So, 22 and a half degrees. We'll cut them all that. I think that'll work nice. All right, this is it laid out roughly close to where it will be. So now I got a, maybe a little sanding of the sharp edges and drill some pilot holes and some screws and close to being done and it will hold six screw sizes so getting there getting close okay I have drilled a couple of pilot holes for the screws and got them clamped down I did put some glue in between it but we're gonna screw them together this is the front piece Same for the back piece, which I have pre drilled some pilot holes. I'm going to first put a little wood glue for strength. Oh, and these little condiment. Holders from the dollar store make a good wood glue distributor. I like it. If it can handle ketchup and mustard, it can handle wood glue. So. <clears throat> Let me drill some pilot hole for the side pieces and we'll screw them on. And then the center slats. And then we'll put on the French cleat, both sides, and test it out. So I'm gonna do that because I'm gonna have to put it at a weird angle to do this and then I'll bring you back. And there we have <laughs> a lot of glue everywhere, that's okay. <clears throat> this is form over beauty or function over beauty. <laughs> so <clears throat> now we need to install 
one half of the French cleat, and that is this piece, which will go here at that angle. It's a 45 cut into the board. So let me put some glue and we'll screw it on. And then we will temporarily put the other side somewhere so we can test it. The part it hangs on. Aren't too long. Now let's start it again. Perfect. Mm. Now let's set the other piece temporarily right here and we'll test it. <clears throat> okay, I've installed the other half of the French cleat rail on to my workbench here temporarily. So this is how it'll work. You just come up and it fits in the cleat. So the 45 of this one and the 45 of this one make it easy to just hang the uh, whatever you put on it. So then if you need to take the whole thing with you, I think I'll put some handles on the sides and label each tray with the size of screw. And I'll have a portable screw rack that is easy to access so let me button up some of that put some screws in it maybe label it and uh we'll leave it at that okay there we have it i put some handles on it so i can pick it up and move it easier now i have my Screws are sorted and portable. So, anyway, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing. And as always, friends, God bless. I'll see you next time, Lord willing.